Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, today, I'm inside of Light No Sky as my little Viking, and I'm going to be looking at the Criolla Kingdom bases, doing a little base tour, and selecting who I feel is the Grand Architect for the Criolla Kingdom. So let's go and hit on up the portal, let's hit up other bases, and let's have a look for any that are denoted by CK, like this one. Boobdicky's Last Stand. Okay, well, I already know that Boo Boo Kitty is the Grand Architect from last season. Now, I will go and have a look at their base, but they've already won the title. They've already hold on to that perk. There's no point in nominating them twice. And we want to get as many Grand Architects as we can. So I might go and have a look at CK Copra, whatever that is. We'll go and have a look at that one first then, people. It looks like a little box on the hill, but, you know. You can't judge a book by its cover, especially in No Man's Sky. Let's go and have a look at our first base. Right, well, we've arrived right on top of the base computer. And it's uh, by a Roger Roberts. OK, Roger Roberts, let's have a look and see at your base. I think I defeated Robert Roberts. I think that, I think so. that brings back memories. OK, well, let's uh, zoom on out and let's have a quick butchers, shall we, people? Oh, this actually looks quite grandiose, doesn't it? This looks quite lovely and jubbly. I guess it does. Oh, that's quite cool. See what I mean by you can't judge a book by its cover? Definitely not. I'm liking the use of all the flags on the outside. Very nice. Little stairs going up. Very cool. I like the actual placement of the teleporter and the sort of like the black path leading into it. I love the hexagony type look to the flooring as well. This is very nice. I like the fact that you've managed to rotate the roof parts to make them as windows. Very cool. Very cool indeed a duty. Anyway, let's walk up the stairs. Let's have a better look at this actually in person, shall we? Rather than just stay in camera mode. Let's do a proper tour. Oh, look, we've got the outside in as well. A load of um, the star bramble here. I can hear a fireplace. Oh, no, it's one of these fire barrels. It gives a lovely look to it. Yep, everything is in keeping with the light, no fire type theme and vibe as well. I really like it. There's no metal here. It, lo it looks in keeping. It's, it's a good build. Well done, Robert Roberts. Very nice. Very nice indeed. OK, right. Well, let's go and have a look at the next CK base, shall we? Let's have a look, see from the actual teleporter tenemus what I can find. OK, we've got CK Canary's Rest. Oh, OK. So Booby Kitty's done a couple by the looks of things. We've got this one by Roger Roberts, which I think is the one that I'm at. We've got this one by Todd MC, Light on the Hill. Let's go and have a look at that. There we go. Well, I've arrived, Kated. We got ourselves some flaming barrels, and this is a very hexagon in feel, like the previous base. I like the fact that you've hid the teleporter inside of this sort of like archway, add a little bit of grass, made it look a little bit more magical. Very nice. There's some random seating around some flaming barrels just to keep people warm. Why not? Yeah, very nice. Gone for a lovely hexagony type base. And uh, they call this the light on the hill. Let's have a quick look, see, shall we? Very cool. Look at that. I like the skull on the top as well. Very awesome. And we've got this like little mini lookout here. This would be quite good for picking people off if you've got the blaze javelin with all this windowage going on. Yeah, you see them flying towards you. Kapow! You're done, mate. Heck yeah. Freaking love it. Light on the hill. It is very much a sort of like a staging post. Like, say, yeah, I can see you heading towards us. I think that's the base we were just at over there as well. Looks like they've put a couple up on hills. I like it, like it, like set in the perimeter. Oh, look, there looks like there's some sort of like conjunction room over here. I think this is just for tech, maybe, empowering. Yeah, it's got a couple of shield thingies. I can't get these to work unless I pop into creative mode, even if I put them on a powered building. It's weird. Right, oh, well, that's, that's pretty darn freaking lovely. Awesome. I like that. I like that quite a lot. That's actually really cool. All right, let's head back in. Well, let's go and hit on up another of CK's Creole Kingdom's bases, shall we? 
why the discoverer servers are actually working. This is good. I'm actually managing to teleport to these. This is cool. OK, so we've just done that one. Let's go down a page. And we've got Booboo Kitty again, last stand. We've got the CK Manufacturing Facility by Roger Roberts. But because it says Manufacturing Facility, I think this is just an outpost. I don't think it's like a HQ base. And I've just gone round one of theirs anyway. Let's have a look what else we've got. CK North Pole, Professor Cynical's own base. OK, well, it's not one of his members' bases. I don't know whether we can give leaders the actual reward or not. Let's have a look, see. So if there's any other CK bases here. CK gravesite for Rob Roberts. Hmm. OK, nothing there. And uh, not seeing anything there. Aha, we've got Unicorn. Ah, this is a memorial build. Now, I think this memorial build for Zoo got built in creative mode. I mean, I can go and look around it, but I don't know whether that can really be considered for Grand Architect because I gave permission for it to be built fully in creative mode. But because it's a memorial for Zoo, I, I think I'm going to go and have a look at it anyway. OK, so we've arrived at Kated. Now, I know that this would have been right up Zoo's street, really, you know, playing all this light, no sky stuff with us guys. It's a shame. It really is a shame. Every time I think about this, you know, whenever I used to do speculation videos, you know, Zoo used to do speculation videos as well, and I used to love watching his take on stuff. In fact, I, I love watching any speculation videos, to be honest. So at the moment, there's a, there's a new emoji out right now. I'm just talking gibberish for waiting for this base to freaking render in, because at the moment, um, this is all we're seeing right now. Taking a little while to render in. I'll try flying on top of it and see if that encourages it to do something. Come on, render, dang you. All right, well, I, you know what? I've got a cup of tea here. I'm going to drink some tea. I'm going to drink some tea. In fact, I might jump in my ship, out of my ship, and do a reload here and see if that causes it to re, you know, re-render. All right, one bit a second, people. OK, well, I've done exactly what I said I was going to do and done a reload. And uh, no, this is... I don't know whether, for whatever reason, they decided to take it down or what, but um, it doesn't seem to be rendering in. And furthermore, the teleporter isn't working, has no power. So from here, I need to get myself to another CK base and I need to find one. So I'll be with you in a bit, people. OK, well, I've pinpointed one just over there. It's only five minutes away. It's by Flying Spark. Yeah, the Flying Spark Creola Kingdom. We're going to go there, people, because whatever reason, this base just doesn't want to load no matter what I seem to do. OK, cool. Unless I take one off. And let's fly on over. Hopefully we don't get any other rendering issues. But from the actual screenshot, that looked like a very fitting base for zoo games. It really did. Yeah, he loved his pyramids. He also liked his kaleidoscopes. All right, so let's go and land here. And let's have a look around. Sweet. Yeah, so we've got a new planetary emoji at the moment. And I've enjoyed the speculation on that. Oh, my days. Well, this is actually really quite something, isn't it? Oh, I like this. This is very cool. Yeah, let's go in here. Oh, this is very homely, isn't it? As soon as you walk in, it's... Oh, look, there's a giant auger here. Oh, very nicely done. Cool. All right. We've got some barrel fabricators to help out the rest of their crew. Granted, not too many, but it's, it's sometimes less is more, isn't it? You know? It looks good. Oh, look at all this nip-nip just hidden under here. Sneaky. I mean, they are in the metal trays, but uh, you know, I think I think we we'll give that. I mean, it looks pretty darn lovely. Let's head out this way. And let's head on up this layer. It's They've really maximised the use of their space well, haven't they? I like the shape of that roof. That's very cool. I'm heading up here. Oh, look, it's a Gek statue honouring the Coriola Kingdom and the fallen Professor Cynical. Yes, yes, he fell at our hands. I say our hands. 
a ghost like zapped him in the face with a, with a blaze javelin at distance pretty darn funny stuff okay we've got um i've got a load of barrel fabricators under here then again i think ricey met the same demise yeah death by ghost light me and ghost light we did do a pvp battle but this was before ghost light had found all of their modules so i don't know how i would fare going up against ghost light and considering that ghost light is going to be doing his own faction soon has got me a little bit nervous for like season three i have to say it could be quite fun but anyway let's uh, let's head in let's see if we can find the actual teleporter and we'll see if we can teleport out of here i, I don't know whether there is a base teleporter in this one or if there is they've hit it very well okay might have to just fly to another base, I guess. But to be honest, I don't think there's many other bases that I was seeing from the actual portal directory. Yeah. Okay, well, let's have a look, see. Let's see if I can spot one just using my eye peepers. What's that over there? Canary's Rest. I think that one's by Boo Boo Kitty. But you know what? Let's go and have a look at it anyway. So I really like that one. That one was quite cool. All right, let's head on over there. Yeah, this is by Boo Boo Kitty. But hopefully it's got a teleporter. At least I can look for other bases from here Why we're doing a tour of it. So at least it serves a dual purpose. Boo Boo Kitty was the Grand Architect of last season. Congratulations, Boo Boo Kitty, on becoming Grand Architect before. And, you know, you keep that perk. So you are a Grand Architect from here forevermore. Oh, this is quite cool, isn't it? Are they like cannons? They are, aren't they? You've got cannons here. Very nice. Very cool. I like it. Very nice. Indeed. Okay. Uh, where would I find a teleporter in a base like this? Let's, uh, let's go into the old camera mode and let's have a butcher's about, shall we? Because this is quite a large base. That is pretty darn epic, isn't it? That is very cool. Okay. Let's go inside of here. Oh, yeah, look at this. We've got a lovely table. Decals adorned on the walls. A little staircase down. Got a little nook here. A little place to sleep. Boo Boo Kitty, this is great. You can see why Boo Boo Kitty won Grand Architect of last season. There's a site to site teleporter there. Now, Boo Boo Kitty uses bases functionally and also defensively. If you watch the video of us trying to take out Boo Boo Kitty, it was a task and a half. Because she just, she knows where all of her teleporters are. She's all over the place. Bum, 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 bum. Trying to get her inside of her base is just insanely difficult. I like these towers that you've got here as well, Boo Boo. Very cool. But um, I'm not seeing an actual teleporter to get us up to the station or to other bases from here unless i'm missing something but that is a very cool base very cool base indeed okay well let's have a look around because we are in the creator kingdom's territory so hopefully we'll be able to spot some other bases just using our eye peepers and we can fly there right so that's flying sparks we've just gone to that one Empire Pencil Palace? What the fudge? The Empire built right into their terrain, didn't they? Okay, let's have a look around then. Kidney Beans Castle Island. That's 12 hours away. I don't know who Kidney Bean is. They haven't put their brew or crew or whatever. Some bases aren't even coming up with names, which is... I think that's the game's fault, not the base, base builder's fault. Or it could be that it's a base that's been recently deleted and the servers are playing catch-up. Look at that. See, it's not, it's not giving me names. And I think I've been to both of those. Yes, I have been to both of those. Booby Kitty's last stand. That was the archive that we found her at. There's another one over there with no sort of name on. There's one down there with no name on. I might just jump down there since it's in, you know, there's flying sparks. I'm just going to go to that one there because there's obviously something built there. We'll go and have a look. Okay, maybe jumping up of here to get there probably wasn't my best idea. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, well, I'm arriving at this base. Let's see what's going on. So there's no base computer here. 
So this is either someone's just outposty base, something that they didn't want to have toured, I think. But it looks like it's been deleted and for whatever reason is not fully rendering in. Um, oddity. I really don't know what's going on there, people. We've got an invisible base computer. I have no idea who made this. Let's go into the old report base. Oh, it says Sir Ominous Gaunt. So he was part of um, my own kingdom. My own crew. And maybe you just put this here as just like, oh, no, 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 no. I've just built something on your doorstep. But there's no base computer for it anymore. So I've been around quite a lot of bases. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fly up to the station and see if I can spot any more for the Crayola Kingdom. But if I can't, sadly, that's all I could see. And it's probably down to Hello Games' server side, I would imagine. Because I'd imagine the Crayola Kingdom has a lot more bases than what's on offer. Okay, chums, we'll have arrived located up inside of the actual station. Let's go and hit on up the base terminus. Let's see if we can at least visit one more CK sort of Creator Kingdom base. Let's have a look see what we've got on the wall. Boom. And let's get to other bases. Right, so we've done Canary's Rest. We've done that. We've done Flying Sparks. I think Flying Sparks currently is my favourite amongst all of these. I think they're winning out right now. Let's see if there's anything that can top that. Baby Kitty's Last Stand, Manufacturing Facility. I mean, I could go and look at the Manufacturing Facility, but I think it is just an outpost that hasn't been deleted. Um, let's see what else there is. Bum, bum, bum. CK, CK Gravesite. I think that is just, you know, probably where they died, maybe, or they've found a, a traveller site. Uh, okay. Boo Boo Kitties, I mean, they've already got the the reward. We've got one of Professor Cynical's, has done archive shops. Nice. Manufacturing facilities, I'm not seeing much there. CK, CK, anything there? No, nope. a lot of Empire. 07 Brew Crew, quite a lot there as well. Lovely. 07 Arena, Professor Cynical, okay, uh, interesting. And you know what, I'm not I'm not seeing anything else. I'm not seeing anything else there. So you know what, let's uh, let's go and hit up that manufacturing facility anyway. And we'll just have a quick look, see if it is an outpost. But I think that's all I can see. Now what I would say over on the CK, the Crayola Kingdom side, there is quite a lot of bases there still by Boo Boo Kitty. There's still quite a fair few from, you know, uh, Fresh Cynical. So anyway, let's start jumping over. Right, well I've arrived at Kated in pure darkness. Can't see a freaking thing. All right, oh, it's night time. And yeah, this is just a little shed to mark that there's a manufacturing facility, which is what I thought it would be. But I thought I would just double check just in case. But there we go. I think I've done all the tours of all the bases that are available. And I think my 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 award has to go to um, Spark Flying Sparks. Flying Sparks, your base out of all the ones that I could see that rendered in was the best base there, my friend. So, yes, congratulations. You know what? I'm going to give you an air grab. Here you are. Have that. Yeah, put that in your pocket. You can make yourself an air guitar and all sorts with that sort of thing. Heck yes, you can. And um, yeah, you're now Grand Architect of the Creole Kingdom, Flying Sparks. Yes, so you should be able to next season build for like the first day or so in creative mode. Make yourself a lovely castle or base or whatever you fancy. Pack it of crayons. Ah, well, there we go, peeps. That's, um, that's pretty much that, to be fair, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, there we go, people. That's everything that I've got for you today when it comes to doing base tours of the Light No Sky base players and, and uploaders. Flying Sparks, Creator Kingdom, Grand Architect. And there you are. Um, I don't know whether there was rendering issues on the planet. I don't know whether they were all the bases that were up for touring. Um, but it is what it is, people. Uh, what, I can, what can I say? Let's just hope that whatever comes inside of patches and updates hopefully this new update for the globe maybe if it is to do with saves like i'm thinking it might be hopefully it might strengthen some of the multiplayer issues server side issues maybe we might actually get 32 players in the lobby because at the moment it seems to be capping me out at eight people 
in a lobby. I used to get 12. It's actually getting worse. Discovery servers seem to be up and down right now. It's, that can sometimes be a hint that they're working on multiplayer. But anyway, there we go, people. That's my tours. Well done. Flying Sparks. Yes. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.